when I first saw Satyrn, I was really wondering whether this was the one. The project management software with all the features needed because they have a modern design, they have boards, they have pipelines, but what about automations? Let's check it out. So this is the dashboard of Satyrn with a calendar. We can either take it monthly or weekly. And then we have our agenda over here with our reminders, tasks, transactions, and proposals. We can easily search up here in all of the different boards, tasks, users, etc. For instance, I'm right now searching for WordPress, which is one of the tasks. And surprisingly, it's not showing. But let's move on and go directly into projects. For each project, you can attach a pipeline. And a pipeline is basically for doing sales. So let's just jump right into the first project I've created, which is the WordPress website. In here, you can see that we have a Kanban board where we have the to do in progress. And then let's just add another list called done. I have some tasks over here where the first one is set up website. And for each task, you can see that we have deadline. We can track time. We can set priority and a lot more you can see here. We can also assign and we can invite and send a link to the specific task as well. We can add to do's, comments. We also have files. Now going back, we can easily drag and drop between the different stages here. And it's very easy to create a new task. You just click the plus icon and then you write new task and another new task. It's very easy and it works very well. You can also use the task table view if that works better for you. Personally, for me, I like the Kanban most. We also have a timeline view, but this only works if you have set up different deadlines. Otherwise, you won't be able to see the tasks here. But for instance, here I can see that I want to work on this task for a couple of days. So let's just set it here. So now it's to do. And now you can see that the due date is from 11 of April until 20 of April. And then it lasts these amount of days. We also have issues and issues is basically box or something that has been reported. You can add that in here and then you can add the specific issue. It can be that the website is down right now. It is a, on production. Let's create this one. When you have then fixed it, you just mark it as a result. You can also assign over here. I'll just assign myself up here. We have where we can filter the view depending on what view we are on. Here we can group it on the task table and Kanban. Again, we can group it and we can also view the archive tasks. But for instance, here I have a task called setup design. Let's see if we can search for set up design and see if we can get anything. Here it is actually showing me set up website twice. So it seems this search feature is not so optimized at the moment because I only have one task called setup website. That is the project management part. Let's go on to the pipeline. Let's just call this one very simple sales. Keep this one as is and create it. So in here, it is just simple sales funnel. It is just a CRM system where you can manage all of your proposals, sales, etc. So let's call this one again WordPress. It is a sale and let's say the value is 2000. The deadline for this is 14th of April and the assignee is myself. The probability I will set this one to 50 50 and then let's create it. So now we have our sale here. You can see again, we have a Kanban, a task table, a timeline, and then we have our deal here. And for this specific deal, it is now basically a project because as you saw, we have the different views here for this deal. We can also set up planning where it is that we basically set up reminders that we have to call on this specific day or we have to send an email. We can see the different stages here. We can set up to do's and then we can have some contacts or proposals down here. So as you can see, we can create a new proposal. And for this proposal, I will just create myself as contact. And then on the next step, we have to set up the service data. Here we need to add the items. This can be set up a website. This costs 1000 and then it can be set up design. Also 1000 in this case. So now we have two items. Let's go to the last step, which is basically just a recap. 
and here you can see final installment it says zero here and uh, the payment date we will set this to 29th of april so right now it says there is an issue here and that's because i need to choose a folder let's choose running and now the recap is ready so i can create this proposal so now we have a proposal ready right here you can see we can then do some more stuff we can add attachment we can add labels we can duplicate it we can share it and so on because you want to be able to share it with your potential client and then we also have the contacts here and then we can add some notes down in the history that is pipelines we also have a chat module here and what i really like is the idea of creating a chat room for each of your different projects so this is really interesting but whether people will use it or not is really an interesting thing as well because we have slack and other chat programs which is used widely in so many companies so it will be a lot easier for them just to write in slack but here at least you can say that a pro for using this chat is that everything related to this project is collected in one place in Saturn. so i will say there are pros and cons for using the chat system here but it works very well and we can see down here that I can just send messages and it's live and in real time as well. We also have a planner here and a planner is basically an overview of all of your different projects running. So here you can see that we need to from 11th of April until further ahead set up a website. You can see right now it is on track and if I click on it then we have the different information we saw just before on the task. A very simple view, but this is a great view in order to figure out how much space do you have to take on tasks to maybe you have to rearrange some tasks and so on. So I really like this view, especially when it is we can sit and go through the different weeks. I would like to be able to just scroll horizontally so I don't have to click this button up here every time. But over here we can also say that we do not work Saturday and Sunday and our hours are approximately 8 hours a day. Then we do also have the administration module and in here is where you control your finances your proposals and your dashboard overall in the finances you can set up transactions and i will say finances that's a big module to just take on and they have simplified it a lot but i'm almost certain that this module does not support all of the different government regulated rules there are so I think you need to take this one a little bit with a grain of salt and figure out whether you really want to use this or not. At least you can export to PDF, you can manage categories and of course create new transactions. But what's interesting in here is of course proposals. So as you saw before we created this proposal here and we have our different folders out here. We can then share the proposal or we can basically just edit it. And here you can see the proposal set up it says zero everywhere even though I said 1000 but maybe I was missing some numbers and here we can restore to the last we can export it as a PDF or we can send it by email and over here we can just save the document as is so let's go back because we still have our proposal and this is basically the same view you saw before and then the dashboard is an overview of your transactions your proposals and then you have a business chart down here so let's for fun try and add a transaction here let's call this one website i bought a new website and then we'll add the different information down here as well so now i have added a transaction for 2000 because i bought a website this is just an example and then on the dashboard here you can then again see that we have 2000 in estimated expenses we do not have any income yet because as you saw the proposal is still running and has not been approved yet we do also have contacts over here and this is just basically an overview of your customers and again as you saw before with the pipelines this is also for a CRM system so you can use this one as well to manage your customers your collaborators and your suppliers we do also have the team here just with my own information and then we have the boards and the sales down here which is basically the same as going to projects and clicking on the board now one thing I'm really missing about these project management modules are that we can invite the clients because right now if the client want to add more tasks or the client want to see what the progress is 
then they have to manually email me and tell me whatever they have of intent. But if I was able to basically invite them into Satyrn to follow the progress of their own system, I would save a lot of time of communication. That would be a nice add-on. And then of course we're missing a lot of integration and automations because going down to the settings here, you can see that we have the business, we have branding where we can add our own logo to really wide label it. We have translations if you want to have it in your own language. We have payments and we have API as well. And then we have webhooks. So in theory, you can integrate this with third party systems, but it's definitely not as easy as if they had already made the integration for you. So those are just small things that will really lift Satyrn and make it an even better product. Now let's discuss pricing because what they really highlight on their pricing plan is that they are a lot cheaper than the alternatives. And when they compare themselves to the alternatives, they also showcase how many products they actually replace. Because not only is it a project management software, you can also handle your proposals, your finances, and basically your entire sale within Saturn. And not only does it replace products, it's also a lot cheaper. And as you can see, they have two paid plans, but you can also use it for free, even though they don't highlight it. If you go to the front page, then you can see that you can start out for free testing out Saturn and actually using it. And when you then have decided, then you can always upgrade to one of the paid plans. Now, the alternatives to Satyrn as I see it is first off Monday.com. Monday.com is though mainly a project management software, but it's so agile that you can use it for almost anything you want to basically handle. You can use it to handle orders, to handle some type of finances, to handle a pipeline and so much more. So based on that compared to Satyrn, then Monday.com is definitely more beneficial product because they also have automations and they integrate with so many more products than Satyrn at the moment. But Satyrn is just a very simplified version of Monday.com. The other alternative is ClickUp.com. And ClickUp.com is, as Monday.com, very agile. But what I find about ClickUp.com is that it can sometimes be a little bit complicated figuring out because they have so many different features that you can use. ClickUp also have a lot of automations and integrations, but what ClickUp is missing is a two-way integration. So it is integrated with other systems. So whenever something happens in ClickUp, it should also update in an external system. That is one part that ClickUp is missing. And again, compared to Saturn, it's just a more simplified version of ClickUp. In this case, you don't have so many features to play around with, but sometimes that is also better because then you don't get confused by using the product. Now the future of Saturn is really defining what route they're taking. The first thing I noticed was that they're working on integrations and this is integrations for connected and for Paply. And this really shows that they're taking the automation route, which is what Saturn is really missing because with automations, we will save time and we'll be able to make less mistakes because we take the manual aspect away. Furthermore, then they're adding a contract module and this contract module adds to this entire circle of Saturn being a business management software and not only a project management software. For the project side, they're adding budgeting and milestones. This means it will be a lot easier for you to manage your projects, estimate them so you can give a precise price for all of your clients. But it'll be interesting to see how they will develop these products and whether they will be up to the standard that we can actually use them. Now, after using Saturn, I really like the chat rooms. It's easy to use and you get a lot of value for money. Though I'm really missing automations, integrations, and then a common thread throughout the different modules. It's interesting what Saturn is doing of taking this approach to try and collect everything within one software. Would I recommend Saturn? I will say if you're a freelancer or a small team who just needs simple project management software features, 
then Satian could be for you. But if you're a larger setup or you don't want to have manual tasks, then you need to look for another software. I want to give Satian three stars. As a simple project management software, it's great, but they really need to work on their workflow. That's my review. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.